Hey, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Derek Branch here at Strike7Sports.com. And I just want to uh, post my recap of the fight that occurred tonight between um, Adrian, excuse me, Adrian the Brown Bronner and um, Javier Santiago. Um, Giovanni, Giovanni Santiago, my bad, uh, fight went down today and um, in their uh, bubble, their version of the bubble down in uh, Oakensville, Connecticut. Um... Santiago was uh, undefeated coming into this fight. No longer is due to Adrian Bronner giving giving a uh, unanimous decision. Shockingly, I didn't think um, I wasn't. I felt like Bronner could win the fight, but I didn't. I wasn't confident enough that he was gonna pull it out tonight. After what I was seeing, I just was. I just didn't have the uh, confidence that I need that to believe that Adrian Bronner was gonna um, pull out the, the victory tonight, but. They gave it to him despite the uh the numbers, you know, the statistics. Um Bronner only threw ninety eight punches, Santiago threw two hundred and seven punches. Bronner won the fight unanimously. I thought was that was a shocker right there. Um Bronner won on all three cards, all three other scorecards, one fifteen to one twelve, one sixteen to one eleven, one seventeen to one ten. All three judges in favor of Adrian Bronner. Um is the same to me. I just saw the same uh issues that I've seen in a previous Adrian Brown fights, which is um letting his hands go. Um throwing he doesn't throw enough punches, man, up in fights, man. And, um tonight, um, he got lucky tonight. You know what um, you know what I'm saying? I know um uh, maybe it's due to ring rust, um not being out of almost two years. Uh, last fight was with uh, Manny Pacquiao. Maybe it was maybe it's his train his team he has, the training he has. But he got lucky tonight because um I wasn't too confident enough in um I felt like um, Santiago could have won it, but he didn't know. He didn't do enough to win it. You know, um, being um, conservative in these fights, man. You gotta, you know, you're the unknown. You're like you're an unknown, lesser known fighter going into this card, this bout, this bout, and he faced the Adrian Bronner tonight. You know, this is his comeback fight. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed you're supposed to be like the the, the tune up. You know, tune up guy, for, pretty much for him. Even though you got a a 14 old, 14 old record. You could have came in there and you could have, if you wanted, if, you, if Santiago wanted to, he could have came in there and um, finished um, Brown off if he wanted to, man. Because I felt like Brown, those that, that I felt like it would have been closer than what the judges had. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought it would have been a split decision. He would have won about a split decision. But their favorite, they all favorite um, Adrian Brown. You know, the, the, the uh, copy box uh, numbers. They had uh Bronner throwing the um the heaviest shots in this fight. Um it, it's just the same things, man. You just it, I don't know if man, it's just I don't know if Bronner can is ready for fighting the Regis program, man. Don't I violence him out take another fight. Take another um tune up. Somebody like the Santiago man, but I just got a quote that uh from uh, came from the fight tonight from uh Asian Bronner. Over in results to uh, in result to uh, in regards to uh, tonight's victory, here's it is quote that was cool. I want to go, go I want to go home and really look at my fight. I haven't fought in two years. I felt good and I felt like I won the fight. It felt like I I beat him with the jab. Honestly, it feels good to get my my hand raised. It felt it feels good to get my hand raised. End, end quote. So Brian felt like he won the fight. Um. I didn't, I felt I wasn't confident. I wasn't that too confident of him going into this fight because of the uh, weight issues. With um, he went down to a uh, supposed to be at one forty in this fight, but he has had because of the, the weight problems and all that. It put it at a uh, one forty seven. Uh, changed some things up, so he's fighting at one forty seven. He's supposed to be at one forty. Um, hopefully he can get back down to one forty and get well, uh, get a. Get a high profile fight, you know what I'm saying? What's worth some uh, they got some work at one forty, you know. Um we got Jose Ramirez, a guy who we uh previously previously uh called out before Regis Pro Grade. Um Josh Taylor who got the belts right now. We got um the titles. Um, you know, it's working that's work at one forty, man. Yeah, I hope he does stay at one forty. I hope he gets gets in shape and get and, and you know, get back into the um to relevancy and in, in, in boxing. But um overall, man, um I guess you could call it a, a, an okay performance by Brown tonight. Um, I clearly didn't think that this fight would have been this. Um, I didn't think the judges would go 
favor Braun and Nick with these uh and all three uh scorecards. And I thought it'd been a split decision. Um he tried to um uh, he saw the um yeah, he was trying to he was getting um getting free, you know, getting back into things, swinging things in the later rounds of the fight. He throws some shots in there, but to me it still wasn't enough punches, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't as to me, I thought it would have felt like the judge it, it would have been the shots that Ronald threw in this fight, I didn't think that would have been enough, you know what I'm saying, to give him all three cards. But um, Santiago did have that point taken away for that shot he took, that late shot he took to Bruno, so that maybe that played up a card and a factor in it. But overall, the the judges mainly favored the Asian Brown in this fight. Um, you know, I just see, just keep seeing this in these. I keep seeing this these type of um traits in these fights. You know, I saw it in uh the Luke Campbell fight. I saw it in it. I see it as hard in the fight tonight with um Santiago, Javon Santiago. You just can't, man, when you got these bigger names, these bigger, you know, personalities in the ring with you, you got to be aggressive, man. You can't leave it in the hand of the, of the judges, you know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, they, they favor the um, the popular fighter in most cases, the A-side. But there it, it was no A-side tonight, but it's Adrian Bronner, you know what I'm saying? It was his comeback fight. And you just can't be, um, you just can't be out here conservative like this, man. You got to, like... He should have took it, man. I think if he would have he'd have went, we would have shown a little more aggressiveness in this fight towards Bron. I think the, the 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 scores, at least two of those scores, those score cards, were swung to him, was swung to Santiago, but it didn't. But overall, man, I guess it was a good fight, man. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what uh, Bron has in store next. You know what they, what the PBC decides to do with him going forward. You know, but um, anyways, man, it was um. So I laugh right now, man. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, let y'all know, man. I'm gonna try to bring back boxing to this channel. Um, I have some play, some videos that I've done in the past, some fights that I have covered. Um, it's, it's not gonna be a lot of boxing, but it'll probably be at least one or two videos a week, you know, to go along with my NFL coverage, NBA coverage. This is a very sick NFL heavy channel, you know, but it has some NBA content in it and it has, you know, boxing. I'm going to add, it's going to be football, basketball, and boxing. That's it for the most part. There's three sports, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'll get back into it, man, because uh, my other channel, my pre, my, my separate channel with covers boxing, fight discussions, man, is, yo, it's just, it's hard to build up, you know what I'm saying? It's having a hard time building up the audience for it and it's just, um, I mean, just, I might just shut it down, man. Just come back to this channel. Just keep everything under one roof. Make things simple. You know, um, cover two to... I might do one or two shows a week on boxing. One day just dedicate to boxing. You know what I'm saying? I might do a, bo do a live stream on boxing. You know, and talk about, you know, a couple articles I read online. And share my thoughts on what's been... Uh, what the news, the, the recent news is, is, uh, is on the sport. But um, overall, man, that's a guy. That's what I have for right now, man. We're going to bring back boxing back to um, this channel, Strike 7 Sports Boxing. You know, um, might do some articles online, my site, you know, just to, you know, build things up even more. And, you know, as, you know, trying to get back into the um, covering live sports, man, getting credential. And hopefully in the future when they let the, uh, the gate, the live gate gets bigger again. But that's what I have for right now, man. Give me a like, um, Comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Do you think uh Asian Brown out run this fight out right? And um do you think that Javier um Giovanni uh I keep butchering that guy name, that guy's uh, name up. Do you think uh Giovanni uh Santiago didn't do enough, wasn't aggressive enough to swing the judges in his favor? That's all I have for right now. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.